Welcome back to New York City, everybody. I'm Coach Todd. I only have one working wrist. It's Coach Cole. He's broken. Better than none. So, speaking of mine. And then we got Brooklyn. She's hanging out in the corner over here. Uh, we're actually in Brooklyn today. It's our first time we here. are filming in Brooklyn. We're here at Willie B. Greenpoint. Uh, and this is your boot camp challenge workout number seven. So, uh, if you've been doing all the boot camp challenge workouts with us, this format that we're going to be doing today is uh, the third time that we're going to be doing it. So we're going to start off with the strength portion, and then we're going to transition into a conditioning portion. The strength portion is going to be an unbroken ascending ladder. So we'll be explaining in just a second, but in the first time we did it, we did it for eight minutes. The second time we did it, we did it for nine minutes. So today, again, we're adding on another minute, and we're going to be doing it for 10 minutes. Um, before we get in and we get too far and you get too sweaty, please do me a favor. Uh, go ahead, like this video because you know you're going to like it in advance. And then if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. It makes a huge difference for us. Um, so we really appreciate you just taking that extra second to go ahead and do it. We're going to be starting with a warm-up in just a second. Actually, you know what? Should we just hop into the warm-up? Hop into the warm-up. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. All right. Let's get sweaty. I've only got one wrist, but I can still do some high kicks. Opposite hand, opposite foot. Five each side, please. I'm feeling sore today. Doing a lot more running recently than I usually do. Why? Well, because I can't really do a lot of lifting. Oh, I see. All right, that makes sense. <laughs> I guess, as always, just distance. Right side. Distance intervals. Um. Well, normally I do one distance run and one intervals a week, but right now it's like one distance, one interval, and like a couple random runs. Like today I'm gonna run. I don't know what's gonna happen. You should take Brooklyn with you sometime. <laughs> Would you like to run? I don't know. We've never tried it. I don't like running. You don't like running, so I'm not gonna try it with you. Let's get some backwards arm circles in since you run forwards. We'll go for 10 quick ones. And we'll get a quick quad stretch in. I want you to reach back, grab your left leg, lean forward nice and easy, come back up. We'll do a quick four on each leg, eight total. That's fall over. If you fall over, it's all right. About to happen the sooner you do it. Probably. I haven't fallen over on camera yet, but one day I have faith. I think you just. It, it, Hopefully it's not today because yeah, I only got one wrist to fall on. Hopefully you don't fall on the back the other at the one. same time. It's not broken, it's just free. <clears throat> let's get some air squats in. Let's go for let's go for 20. Why not? Feet where you like to squat, up and down. We'll go all the way up to 20 today. We've been adding some mobility videos. So we actually just put up a couple about opening up the hips. And the most recent one, uh, as of this recording, is about a 12 to 15 minute video to prepare yourself for squatting, particularly like overhead front squat, back squat, that kind of loaded squat. So um, if you're looking for some hip mobility videos, you can find those on the channel as well. Not counting though, so I hope- I'm on 16, so I got four more. Usually one of us is, that's all we need. I do a lot more counting today than I am fitness. That's for sure. All right, we're gonna hit 30 jumping jacks, feet apart, hands overhead. Count to 30. So our first part of the workout today, it's gonna be a strength portion. You are gonna need one dumbbell or one kettlebell. Uh, when you go to get the weight, if you're not super proficient in using a kettlebell, I would probably grab a dumbbell for today. You might kind of get a lot of wrist, wrist uh, you might get some wrist discomfort. If you use a kettlebell, you're not totally used to it though. So. I'm gonna be using this dumbbell today. I know it's like huge, I can't believe I can lift it. Um, my right wrist is feeling super strong, that's all. All right, I'm happy with that as a warm up. We'll hang out for a second. You need to go grab that dumbbell, do you grab some water. Todd's gonna talk about our strength today. Why not? I'll talk about everything else. So. I'll give you about another 30 seconds or so uh, to go ahead and check that out. I mean, to go ahead and get the weight, get ready however you need. Then I'll start explaining the first portion. Just 10 minutes, unbroken. My favorite workout, my favorite format. Um, Coach Cool's favorite format, maybe. Not. <laughs> Not quite your favorite. Huh? But I'm getting better at it. You are getting better. Um, so this is how it's gonna go. It's gonna be 10 minutes, and we're gonna be on doing an ascending ladder. So we're gonna start with two goggle squats. Do you mind? Maybe we'll just solve I can demo for you. It works enough. So, so we'll do two goblet squats. So he's gonna go down, uh, pulling that weight in front of him. He's gonna then go ahead, just on one arm. He's gonna do one clean on one arm. 
Sounds like one of Brooklyn's squeaky toys. <laughs> one clean one on one arm. arm. He would have done the clean on the other side. I can do it. And then, I don't want you to risk it. Okay, good. And then we're gonna do some push jerks. So you go back to the original side, and then you've got that dip, drive, and then re-dip. Yeah, keep that chest nice and high. Maybe if we rotate so they can see you from the side. Um, that would be great, yeah. So there's the shallow dip forward, setting your knees first, exploding, coming up, that's your drive, and then you're gonna re-dip down under it, catching with a locked out arm, then using those legs to stand it up. Um, yeah, so what you're not doing is actually pressing overhead. All you do is drop down, lock out your arm, and then use your lower body to stand it up. So it's lower body twice um, in, in, in that movement. Next round, we're gonna do four goblet squats, four cleans, four cleans, four push jerks, four push jerks, six, eight, 10. We'll just keep going up and, until we get to the uh, 10 minute mark. The goal is to not put the kettlebell down the whole time. We'll be switching from side to side, so you will get rest from side to side, but you're not gonna get any rest in actually putting the weight down until the entire 10 minutes are over. Um, that is honestly the most challenging part for some athletes. It's just not putting the weight down. So if you've done this in the past and you have put it down, something I want you to try to do is last longer this time before you take a break. So you put it down four minutes, five minutes last time, try and see if you can get to six minutes before you take that break, just trying to build on the endurance there. So we're gonna get a clock ready. We're gonna start about 30 seconds or so. Again, two squats, two cleans, two push jerks. You can just go ahead and, and follow along with me. Coach Cole will be doing as well, but he'll either be dropping some knowledge bombs or some jokes in, in his downtime. <clears throat> it could be a combination of both. We're starting with 15 seconds. Combination of Fair knowledge bombs. We'll take that. The jokes might be funny, it might not be. Mind to be, so that's all that really matters. Two goblet squats in four, three, Two and weights are up for the day. Cool. Again, your goal is to be here for 10 minutes. All together, all working out. I don't need you to work at the world's fastest pace. This isn't a sprint. Cool, this is a nice little endurance. Hold on and move. Take a nice breath between reps all the way through. We're gonna get it started today. So there's a lot of switching in the beginning, a lot of switching for the first minute or so. But then after that, it's gonna start to speed up. I'm hitting my four goblet spots and then two cleans per side to get to that four total. Clean one, clean number two, switching sides. Clean one, clean two, back to the other side, two push jerks. Push jerk one, and number two. So again, for these push jerks, the dip and drive gets the weight moving up into the air and then you drop down under it and then use those legs to stand it up. So you can push jerk a lot longer than you can push press onto the sixes. Good. Cool, most of us are probably in that round of six by now. All right, we're only about 90 seconds in for the day. We're definitely gonna find some double digits. Well, we have an extra minute and the way our reps are going to go today, we're going to move a little bit faster up the ladder. So if anyone really wants to get into that 16, 18, 20 range, I think it could be done. So if you're moving and you stay breathing. As far as resting goes, if you've done one of these before with us, I want you to rest ideally here. Cool, finish a push jerk or your second push jerk or your last push jerk. Take a couple of nice breaths where your belly button's nice and squeezed, so that bicep's right next to your ear and you have that weight overhead. All right, this allows more room for air than here or here. Well, when we're trying to rest, we're just trying to breathe, really. When we rest, the more room for air, the better. All right, I don't think anyone's gonna argue against me with that one. When you're doing your cleans, I've said this before, Try to think about one, not anticipating the weight coming down, but waiting for it to pull you back. Again, wait for it to pull you back. And then on your way up, keep that forearm glued to your stomach as long as possible so you can pop it up and finish the position. You're really using that hip opening to get the kettlebell moving or the dumbbell. All right. So I'm finishing up my round of eight. 
kind of getting into a nice little groove right now. Let's be it. When you get into the bigger sets and you're not switching every couple of reps, it's a lot easier to get into a rhythm, a lot easier to kind of feel the movements a little more. All right. When you move to push press, push jerk, excuse me, after your cleans, do me a favor. If you are where you like to squat still for most goblet squats, just take about a half step in. Right? Most of us are going to push press much more efficiently with our feet under our shoulders. We're also going to straight press like that, et cetera, et cetera. So for our push jerks today, make sure we get those feet set in under the shoulders. I'm looking for you to dip into your heels. A lot of us like to sometimes press up off the toes by mistake. That's all right. Stick those heels back down for me. Get nice and vertical, press straight up, all right? The more straight up that dumbbell moves, the less work you guys have to do to move it. Well, I'm sure that's a good thing, especially in a 10 minute ladder. Less work for the same reps. It's gonna keep us moving for longer. We're putting up on halfway today. So, somewhere around this point, if you haven't started to experience it already, you're going to start to have uh, a desire, maybe to take a break, maybe to put the weight down. I want you to delay that as long as possible, okay? If you can't get through all 10 minutes, no big deal, but I don't want you on your first instinct just to take a break, but go ahead and see if you can put that off at least another 30 or 60 seconds. You're just about at that halfway point. We gotta take a break for the conditioning, talk about the movements, take a quick reset. So hang in there as long as possible. I'm just starting my 12s here. Hopefully you're either about the same or a little bit ahead of me since you're not doing, hopefully, any talking. Quick note on that, if you're working out alone, whether you're working out with Todd and I virtually or just alone by yourself ever, it is not weird to talk to yourself during it. I work out alone a lot because I'm at the gym alone during the day. There's a lot of talking to myself that goes on. Uh, BTS, I promise. Probably a little embarrassing if I was ever mic'd up for it. What kind of talk is this? this is like self-motivation? Um, most of it's self-motivation. Yeah, sometimes I do talk about things I have to do to myself. Uh, sometimes it's a little bit of just like yelling when I'm more in a weightlifting mood, motivating yourself, and uh, getting amped up. Yeah, which is hard to do alone, um, which is why I do a lot of talking. Like, there are people around to make me excited to lift, so I have to just kind of get that to happen. There's a couple ways to do it. One's to talk to myself. Others to put, like, chromatic on, maybe. That always works. What's your go-to workout music? Go-to workout music. Ooh, I don't know. I actually much prefer just like some sort of progressive house. Progressive or house, house. How forward of too, too, too much talking, too many words distracts me. So when I'm lifting, particularly when I'm lifting, I really want to like feel the lift, think about it afterwards, see how I want to adjust. If I'm singing along to like Katy Perry or someone, that doesn't happen. I get that a little bit. If I'm just like, if I'm just like uh, trying to tone out background noise, DJ Grind. DJ Grind. Like, I never heard of him. He's got some mixes on like podcasts. DJ Brandon Wade. What would you put on if you had to go on a run? He's like, I gotta think four or five years back for this one. Well, I'm trying to like have to go on a run. Hmm. Well, uh, I'm thinking about that. Take a second. Yeah. I want to remind you guys that you're killing it. If you still have that weight up, hang on with me, cool? We only have a little bit over two minutes to go. So if you made it eight minutes into the day, do your best. Take a breath here. Cool. Squat steady, but squat a little bit slower. That's going to allow you to catch your breath and keep this weight moving. That's all I care about. Cool. Keep count for me. Know that number we're going to end. 
Cool. What's your run music? Cindy Lauper? It's a 90s playlist for sure. 90s playlist? That's very angsty for a run. <laughs> no, it's a different kinds of 90s playlists. Spotify has a pretty good 90s workout playlist. Does it? I don't know. I was born in 97, so. Great time to be born. Heck yeah. Hey, you got less than two minutes to go. Less than two minutes. So, if you've gotten this far and you haven't put that weight down, don't put it down. 90 seconds, you're gonna make it. If you have put it down, no worries. Just try to see now for these last 90 seconds, can you go, can you get more reps in without putting down that weight? Well, I'm on round 14. I'm not a good metric today. This arm isn't working very well. This weight's super light. But um, definitely wanna be in the double digits. You can try and finish that round that you're on. You can definitely get that in there for me. Whether or not that weight's moving or not, let's get it up, get it going for another 63 seconds. Hang on for me. Your score today, your score that you're gonna leave in the comments at the end, is gonna be how far you got through this ladder, okay? So, every rep's gonna count. You're gonna make a record of it. So if you ever do this workout again, you know that your score to be less than a minute to go. Good, hang in there, 45 seconds. Make sure, I know we're getting tired, I know we're breathing a lot, you wanna breathe through that belly region, but you also wanna keep that belly region squeezed. But you can breathe into a nice tight belly at the same time, you just don't wanna let it loose and stick it forward. So keep it under your body, whether you're push, push jerking, or cleaning, or squatting for the next 20 seconds. Hold the squeeze for me, all the way through. Last 15, almost there. Let's finish this, every rep. You got time for two or three more reps here. For sure, no problem. Hang on, crew. Let's go. Four, six, five, not now. We got a lot, a lot of work done. Three, two, last rep, and time. Ooh. Well, 10 minutes, I believe a 10 minute ladder is the longest ladder I've ever done. So nice job, worked on up to it. Hang out, do us a favor, pause the video right now while you do so. If you haven't liked and subscribed, please do that. Uh, also, if you got to, if you got to 16 rounds, is that where you were? I got in, into the 16. So I got nine goblet squats into the 16. So my score is 14 plus nine. I finished all of the 14s, and then I got nine reps into the round of 16s. So the first number is my total rounds finished, all the 14s were done. My second number is how far I got into the 16, which is nine reps. So that's how you're gonna leave your score. Okay. Hit pause, go ahead and do that. We have some conditioning coming up, if you hit pause or not. <laughs> um, we're gonna talk about it in just about 60 seconds or so. Coach Cool is gonna give us an overview, I'll demonstrate the movements, and then we'll hop into it. You will need today my favorite fitness equipment, piece of equipment, which is a pillow. This is not a pillow, it's an app but I don't have a pillow at this gym here. You can also use a loaf of bread, something else Todd has found very funny in the past. Anything nice and light, funky, very small dog, um, back tips. A book? A book? As long as it's not like a textbook. Like a, a, a soft cover book. Soft cover, or a, yeah. A, a classic. Whatever like American cover. classic you have in, yeah, not too, on the bookshelf. Not too big. Not your encyclopedia. Well, I mean, if you really want to. If you do this with your encyclopedia, take a video and send, and send it to us. We would really like to see that. Yes. <laughs> we would like to see that for everyone. That's some see. delt strength right there. All right. So, our workout today is gonna to be a format we run every once in a while. 60 seconds of work for four movements, 50 seconds of work for the same movements, two rounds of 40, two rounds of 30, and we're out of here. We're gonna rest on uh, the sixth round for all of those, all right? So we're climbing down the ladder today. Going down the slide, down the fire pole, whatever you wanna call it. Jumping out of a plane with an air truck. All right? Um, first, 60 seconds of work is going to be six high knees. Toss the demo for us, hands out in front. You can touch the hands, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, six. Five, six, six. He's gonna hit the floor for three push-ups. Cool. Um, hands are gonna be under his shoulders. Elbows are gonna tuck in nice and close. He's gonna find his chest to the floor. One, two, three. Good. And for the rest of the minute, he will amrap those movements. Cool. Second minute, we're on the floor for some pillow pass-throughs or catcher and ride pass-throughs. Great gas pass-throughs. You read out of those books. <laughs> Every record you're making, I hope, is just falling flat. Come on, you must. Those are. Those are in no way to report way older than you. So you definitely read the result. Anyway, all right, Ty's gonna do some flutter kicks for me. Every time his legs flutter, 
He's gonna pass that pillow through the little hole. Cool. Pass through. That was under the leg. There we go. Through the leg. All right. Again, now you can see if you do this with a thick hardcover encyclopedia, that's really impressive. All right. That's great. That's a whole minute for the first round. Movement three is gonna be hang snatch sixes. What that means, we're gonna do six on the left, six on the right. You're gonna alternate as many times as you can get through in that minute. Well, Todd's gonna pick up his dumbbell or kettlebell, swing it through the legs just like the clean, pull it close, punch it nice and fast overhead. It's a little bit more technical of a movement with the kettlebell than it is a dumbbell. He'll do six on that side, you can rest on six. Then he'll do six on the other side. Capiche? Awesome. Final movement, or movement combination I should say, is going to be four skier hops. Cool, Todd's going to do four for me. He's going to jump all the way to the right, put his left hand on the floor. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four. And he'll hit the floor nice and fast for me for his eight sit-ups. Cool. Bottoms of the feet together, touch the ground behind the head, touch the ground in front of the toes. Cool. You do not touch those two points without doing a sit-up in between. Cool. I challenge you to try. Take a video. Send it to us. Take, yeah, another one. Um, if you're like super weird flexi gymnast, it might happen, but I still like to see it. Fifth minute is going to be rest, and we're going to climb down the ladder. All right, we got about, let's say, 35 seconds before we go. We're starting with our six high knees and three push ups. Going in 30. I will be doing everything in this workout except for the push ups. Fantastic. Well, unless your right wrist is also sprained. Please do the push-ups. So remember, this first round, every round is 60 seconds. It's going to be four minutes of work. A whole 60 seconds of rest. Try to work for the full minute. Three, two, one. Six high knees. One, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six. On the floor, keep those elbows in tight today. We want to avoid that chicken wing. The closer the elbows are to the body, the more torque you're going to get on the floor. Todd and I are doing the same workout right now, but Todd's just doing a couple extra push ups for me. Three after this. Sorry, right, Sunday's coming. Heck yeah, we want those arms. As long as that one out. Yeah, I'm going to have this arm be a lot bigger than this arm in about a month when I keep using this one, but not using this one. Good, again, these push ups today. I would prefer them from your feet, but if you need to, either A, drop them to the knees, you may, or B, if you have a couch nearby or a chair, stick your hands on the chair, but still do them from your feet. That's just going to elevate the push up, make it a full range of motion still. Um, just a little bit less low. 10 seconds. Go down to the floor for those push ups because you're going to need to be there. Got three, two, one, and we're passing that pillow through the feet. So, trying to keep your lower back flat on the ground. Shoulders are up so you can pass through. Legs are trying to keep them nice and straight. Squeeze your quads, keep them straight as much as possible. Um, and then try to point your toes. Good. It's gonna be a nice full minute of being hollow. Oh, that's not pretty fast, actually. Cool. As slow or as fast as you want to pass through, a pass through is a pass through. Just try to keep ourselves moving today. All right, very good. We got about 20 more seconds to go, and then we're gonna be hanging, heading into the hang snatches. We're gonna be doing six per side, switching every six. 15 more seconds though. Feel the burn. 10 seconds. Seven, six, five, four, get that last rep in. Two, one, up to those weights. Hang snatch sixes, six reps per arm, please. Looking for a few rounds this whole minute we got here. Oh yeah, we're moving along. Good. Six and then switch. 15 seconds in. Good. As you snatch here, when we swing and start pulling in front, try and keep that elbow nice and close to the body. That's gonna keep that dumbbell moving closer if my elbow moves away. That dumbbell is a little bit farther away. Again, it's easier to move weight and it's more efficient to move weight closer to your body. So if you squeeze the dumbbell in, then punch overhead nice and quick, you get yourself going a little bit faster. 10 seconds. A little bit better. Cool. It's the first time I've ever used a dumbbell in enough to demonstrate like the bicep part of that. Four, three, two, one. Four skier hops, eight sit ups. Here we go, side to side. Hop both ways to count as one rep, please. So two, two, 
And we're gonna count sit up eight. One sit up is better than no sit up. So, find the floor, throw those hands back. Three, three, two, one, Ooh. and sweep. All right, cool. Our 60 and our 50 are done. We have our 40, 40, and our 30, 30. All right, they're gonna go faster. Let's just all get that on one side. Yeah, cool. We'll get that right here. All right. Have you ever been skydiving? Yeah. Are you going? I would like to. I um, I went when I was like 21, uh, bachelor party for a sober friend of mine. That was his thing. So we went skydiving. Honestly, I don't like heights. You know this. Yeah, I like heights. Um, I feel like that's not it even. It was height. so high, and you don't know. And it was cloudy, so you couldn't even see the ground. You were just jumping out into clouds. It just, it almost isn't real. That's so cool. <laughs> Six, we're on six high knees and three push-ups. In four, three, two, hands out, reach up. We just want to make sure those knees come up to the hip crease. That's what the hands out's for. And those three push-ups, hang on in. I'm jealous you guys get to do push-ups. I love push-ups, can't do it right now. Grass is always greener. Especially when you're flying out of a plane and it's getting greener and greener and greener. Looking at it. We're on the 40 second rounds. Good. You got 10 seconds. Yeah. Nice job, Todd. Push ups looking pretty good. As long as we're doing their push ups. A lot of output. They get put Five, four, three, two, pillow passers on the ground with us. We're going to go 40 seconds. Let's go. Good. Keep moving. Abs, abs, abs. 20 seconds to go. Keep that belly button squeezing and squishing to the floor. We do want to feel our abs. That's the whole point of doing abs. Just who doesn't like stronger abs? A little bit more of a six pack. Got about 10 seconds to go, and then we're going into the snatches. Seven, six, five, four. Top of the fumble. <laughs> Three, two, one, and up on the hang snatch. Six is pick an arm to start. We are staying on that arm. All right, I don't know why I just said six. Because Todd did the right. He's going to do the right for this full 40 seconds. We are not switching sides anymore. Hanging on to that dumbbell. Don't let that grip go. I'm going to do every side of this side. Don't yell at me. I was like, you guys. This is the next round. Our shoulder's going to be huge. <laughs> huge with this 10 pound dumbbell. My God. Good. You got just over 10 seconds. And then we're going into the hops and the sips. Seven, six, keep snatching. Don't put it down yet. Four, three, two. Now it may go down. Four and four. Here we go. Ski hops and then sit ups. Good. Eight sit ups. 40 second rounds go a lot faster. You're already at the halfway point. I can't, they do. Good. Just over 10 seconds. Remember, every rep is a rep here. We're going to rest after, so get back into some hops. Give me something here. Three, two, one, and sweep. All right, we are past halfway in this workout today. We got another 40 second round coming up. So, everything's the same, except you're going to do all the snatches this time on your left side. Left side. You're getting there. You're getting there. 140 second round, 230 second rounds, and we're gonna get jabbed here. Back at it in just about 15 seconds. Again, starting with the high knees and the push ups. Six high knees, three push ups, five seconds. Four, three, two, one, hands out, give me six. One, one, two, two, three, four, four, five, five, six, six. Hit the deck. Push on up. One, two, three, and back up. Heck yeah, Todd. Now we're moving. Here we go. Here we go. Halfway. 15 seconds. Boy, those push ups for singles or whole sets of three. I don't care as long as you give me a nice quality push up. Get some chest work in. Seven, six. Five, four, three, 
two, we're going to the ground, passing through. Here we are. Here we go, 40 seconds. Pass throughs. Good. Keep moving. Keep passing. Halfway. Very good. You got about 15 seconds to go. Next movement is going to be hang snatches. Again, all on your left arm. 10 seconds. 10. 6. Keep passing. Keep passing. 4. 2. 1. Up on up. Other arm than last time. Hang snatches. Cool. Focus here. It's going to help us go a little faster. We really make sure to keep that elbow nice and glued to the side as long as it can before we get nice and fast. Let that dumbbell fly overhead. Good. Halfway. Keep snatching. Find your groove here. Find your breath in overhead. Lots of room for air. Still room for air. Four, three, two, ski or hops. Four and eight. Side to side. Here we go. All right. Last round before we have some rest. And then we're going into our 30 second round. If these feel fast, 30 seconds will be even faster. Oh, yeah. Let's hop up to the seat again. You hit it last time. We got time this time. I promise. 10 seconds. Hang on, we're four. Keep hopping, keep hopping, keep hopping. Good, rest, there we go. All right, 40 seconds rest. And then we're going back into the 30 second round. Just like we did for the 40 second round, the only thing that changes is that your hang snatches will first be all on your right hand side. And then for the last round, it'll be on your left hand side. Halfway, 20 seconds of rest in, 20 to go. You got this. Yeah. Hear me out here before you know it. Not that we don't enjoy your company. <laughs> 10 seconds. Remember, starting with the six high knees, three push ups. Five, four, three, hands out. Here we go. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six. Good. Hit the deck, elbow squeeze, butt squeeze, two. Don't forget. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six. Good. Back down, halfway there. We're going to hang on, Todd. Woo. Six, six. We got time for more. Six, five, four, three. Fellow pastors, two, one. Down and squeeze. Here we go. Only 30 now. Oh, my pillow. Oh, tied up with the fumbles. One, <laughs> one, one, and one. See how they end this. Good. Halfway there. Going fast, right? Last 10 seconds coming up. Hang snatches on your right arm. Happening in five. Three, two, one. Back to that OG arm. Keep that elbow close. Punch fast past the ear. Make it snappy. Air here. Breathe in here. Good, halfway. Hang on. Elbow tucked in. Dumbbell close. It's your best friend. Yeah, I'll just sit up to next. Five, four, three, two, one. Side to side. Last step. Got one more round coming up. We're going to finish this one. When the going gets tough, keep going. Finish it fast. All right. Halfway. 15 in, 15 to go. 10 seconds. Three, two, one. All right. Last rest. 30 seconds. We'll be back pretty soon. But that's right. You got two more minutes of work. And you made it. 
we'll get you out of here. We're not killing it with these push ups today. He's going to keep killing it for me. It's Coach Cole's favorite movement. Yep, he's really carrying the team. It was not my favorite movement. <laughs> disproportionately long arms. Me too. A long way to press. Three, two, one, 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 two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six. Good. On the deck. One, two, three, one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six. Good. On that floor, squeeze that booty. And hop it up. We got 10 more seconds. Good. Six, next. five, four, three, two, one, squeeze those abs. This is our last chance of passing for the day. Here we go. And that nice burn in the low court. Oh, that was almost a fumble, but I saved it. Halfway. Hang on, group. Find that burn. We're going to hop back up and move that dumbbell in seven, six, five, four, three. Two, one, here we go. Last time for the day. Keeping it close, punching it out. Breathe overhead, we're not putting it down. Not now. It's in there. You have a total, a total of 45 more seconds of work. You're gonna be done. Let's end this nice and strong. Let's work up until the end, less than 10 seconds. Last station, ski hops and sit-ups. Four ski hops per side, eight sit-ups. Three, two, one. Here we go. Here we go. Touch that floor. Get side to side. It's only four. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Twenty seconds. Make that happen. Fifteen. Every run matters today. If you can get one ski hop, that's a fantastic. Play on for it. Seven, six, five. Four, keep moving, keep moving. Three, two, one, and time. That is your last step. Oh, wow. Nice job, BK. Today's Brooklyn's first visit to Brooklyn. All right, take a second, catch your breath. I know I am. Um, nice work. Boot camp challenge workout number seven. Check that off the list. If you haven't already, while you're catching a break, go ahead and again, do us a favor. Like the video and then subscribe, and then we need a score from you. Remember, your score is how far you got in that first round. So if you haven't left it, please go ahead, uh, do that in the comments. Besides that, just a couple quick notes. If you're in the New York City area, we have classes every Saturday, strength and conditioning Saturdays on strength and conditioning workouts on Saturdays in Manhattan, Brooklyn, Queens. All that information is on our website. You can check it out. If you're interested in joining us, if you are interested in some private training, those same boroughs, we offer that. Uh, we have a whole lot of workout gear online. Some of the t-shirts you can see here, there's a big selection of workout shorts and all kinds of stuff like that. Uh, you can find all of our contact information down in the description. So you can find Instagram for Coach Cole, for Brooklyn, myself, for Outfit. With all that being said, I had a great time today. I'm sure that Coach, did, Coach Cole did too. We're gonna see you sometime soon. I'm Coach Todd. I'm Coach Cole. That's Brooklyn.